I'm going to practice decision making with Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. I might be playing in a tournament soon and I think this is great practice from when you get those drawn tiles. Have you played before? It can be a little overwhelming when you get 28 random tiles and you have to figure out what to play. So I practice. And if you have a set at home, you can too. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. Click the bell when you do, so you get notification for when I post new videos. All my tiles are out. They've been mixed. I'm going to get 28 random tiles. We'll just say, we're the dealer. And that's how many you get when you're the dealer. Okay, let's see what we can do. Okay, I always like to look at multiples first because for American Mahjong, that's where the strength is with multiples. If you look at the card, there's really about 10 to 15% of the hands use singles and pairs. Otherwise, they're all Pungs, Kongs, and Quints. So I think the strength is with the multiples. So we have a South and a six bam and a five bam. Five, six, five, six. Let's see here. We've got a five, six in each suit. Five, six in each. We don't have any pungs, so, and we have only one joker. I was thinking maybe we could make a quint happen, but I don't think so. I think we should maybe try five, six consecutive run and two, four, six, eight. Let's see how that works out. We do have a lot of two, four, six, eight. So let's do five, six, five, six. And then let's put all the two, four, six, eight over here. And if we can get to two, eight discards, that would be really good. Eight discards with Joker bait. Okay, so we have five, six consecutive run. I would hold even these five, seven, five, six, seven consecutive run just to see if we can have maybe a plan B in there. And then here we have two, four, six, eight. Let's get them in order. Two, four, six, eight. I'm thinking me, if I had to pick a hand, um, maybe we could play either the two, four, six, eight concealed hand, or maybe we could play the two, the second one down two, four, six, eight with pairs of eights, or we could even play the pair hand two, four, six, eight pair hand, which is the second one down flower pairs of two, four, six, eight and pairs of the same even number in the other two suits. I don't think we're going to use that though. So I would say we've got two, four, six, eight here, maybe even a pair hand. And then if I had to pick a hand, I think the con concealed consecutive run pung hand, that would be the last one under consecutive run. And then just hold these and see as a plan B, this would be joker bait. So we'd have five discards with joker bait, which is really fabulous. Actually, I think this is a pretty strong start this these might even be a double mahjong if it goes well if the picking goes well let's say really we probably have we probably have nine or ten discards but i still think that's a pretty good start if you would have done something differently with these right random pull one and what you would have done differently. Okay. 
Okay, here we go. Random pull two. Okay, here we go. I want to see if we can do the, oh, I was thinking we could do the big ear hand, but we have a big gap. We have no cracks. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight towards the big ear hand. But I think I would just let that go for another day and then do maybe the 2468 concealed hand. Two, four, six, there's eight tiles towards that hand. Let's see here. Maybe, I mean, there's eight towards that hand. Why not go for the big hand? And I mean, if, if it's eight one way or another, the thing is though, We've got, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, eight. There we go. Eight. That's kind of not good. I don't think that's good. What about, what about the year with news? The year with news. That way we can use the multiples. Okay. Then... We gotta use these BAMs here. Five, seven, nine. Oh my goodness, look at all these discards. 11 discards, that's pretty bad. News with the year, and then five, seven, nine with dragons. Five, seven, nine with dragons would be the last one under odds. So let's see if we can find some plan B here because this is not so good. I think maybe keep the red for the big ear hand. Five, seven, nine. There's no other multiples. But we do have five, nine, and seven for big odds. So let's see here. Five, yeah, there's no multiples. That's what's hard here. This is kind of a difficult situation, which is exactly why I like doing this practice. Now we could do five through nine in BAMs. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's pretty slim. And that would deplete this. And it would wreck any two, four, six, eight potential too. I think this is what I would do. You know what? I think I might even hold that. I think this is what I would do. News year hand with the potential to switch to the big year hand as a long shot. And then down here, five, seven, nine with dragons, the last one, the concealed one under odds, and then a potential or long shot to the pair hand with odds, third one down, one, three, five, five, seven, nine. We have one, two, three, four, five, six towards that. And that would allow us to use these for the big year hand if it came in. So I think I would try to play these kind of together because they share some of the same tiles with these dragons and get rid of these tiles first. Let me know what you think about that plan. Would you do that? Big year hand, odd pair hand as long shots but focus on news with the year and 579 with dragons. Okay, here we go.
Okay, we have a pair of north, a pair of threes, four, seven, eight. Consecutive run, two, three, four in one hand, and then five, six, seven, eight in the second. Let's just get it arranged. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Okay, now let's focus. Two, three, two, three, three, four. Two, three, four, two, three, three, four. I don't think I would pick a hand, I would just gather two, three, four. Two, three, four here. Here we have seven, eight. We don't have any six cracks or nine dots. I was thinking we could do seven, eight, nine, or six, seven, eight. Uh, let's see here. Or we could, if we had six dots, we could do six, seven, eight, nine. There are a number of hands, but there's also five through nine right there. Maybe even a five through nine pair hand with the green dragon. Okay, let's see. That's kind of a lot of discards. What about the 998 pair hand? Or the, is it 987? 987. 987. 987. It's kind of backwards. Now we wouldn't be able to use them all, but I would hold them all just the same. And I would hold these. So I'm thinking the 998 pair hand second from the bottom. 998 pair hand, hold these. I would even hold these as options. So I would start by discarding these, work on a two, three, four consecutive run, and then the big 998 pair hand here. We might even be able to use these up here. Two, three, four, five, or three, four, five, six. Oops. Joker bait. Okay, that's what I would do. Two or three, four, five, six consecutive run. You don't have to pick a hand until you run out of discards. Then nine nine eight pair hand hold these for plan B with maybe if we get six crack or nine dot, which we need, or nine bam, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there's a lot of work to do. But I think that's how I would play this. If you would do something differently, let me know. Oh my goodness, that was kind of hard. Which is exactly why I like to practice because you kind of desensitize yourself with the stress of having to figure out what to do. And when you play in real life, it's a little easier. Give it a try yourself and let me know if it helps your confidence. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to maybe learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table between now and the next set of random pulls for Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.